Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and yes, it is that time of the year where the government looks at all the thousands and thousands of dollars we've given them out of our hard-earned paychecks and decide, you know what? They overpaid us. Let's give them a tiny fraction of what they sent us and just so generously give it to them to use for whatever they want. Yes, it is tax return season. And what better way to use your tax return than to buy one of the things that the government absolutely hates, another gun. So um, I didn't use my entire tax return on this gun, but I did decide that it was time to get another Ruger revolver. Now, I am going to say that this is probably the first time I've ever bought a Ruger and have been just disappointed in the quality. Now, I'm not saying that it's all Ruger's fault, but I'm not necessarily saying that it's not their fault either. So, anyway, what do we have here? We have a really nice case, um, which I guess a lot of Rugers, or at least a lot of Ruger revolvers are coming with these days. So that's kind of nice. It's better than some of the other cases I've gotten. So obviously we have our manual here and I just dropped the decal that it comes with. Anyway, that's not really why you're here, right? Let's look at the gun. So it's still wrapped up in plastic. All right, we have another Ruger Vaquero in 45 Colt. Now, the reason I got a second Ruger Vaquero is, of course, to have a complete cowboy action set. I bought a used Ruger Vaquero, I don't know, probably two or three years ago at this point. It's been a while, actually. Um, and uh, that's a really cool gun. Uh, and I decided I, I needed another one, so I decided to go with uh, a new one uh, to add to the uh, Cowboy Action set. Now, um, <clears throat> other than the grips, really, I mean, it's the same gun as my other one. Um, and I do have... <clears throat> I do have the uh, same grips that I have for the other one, uh, another set that I'll put on this one, but for now I'm just going to keep the original ones on here uh, to tell them apart. Now, why am I disappointed in this revolver? It's because it's got a little bit of rust on it. There's a couple places. Uh, there's a little spot up here and on the... Uh, loading gate. I, I don't know, you probably won't see it very well, but it's a little bit of surface rust right here. Um, and I haven't really looked every, you know, at every nook and cranny of this gun, but just the fact that there's a little bit of surface rust is, is really disappointing. Now, is it necessarily Ruger's fault that there's rust on this? Not necessarily, because I got this from Bud's Gun Shop. They get a lot of guns in. Um, you never know, this could have been like a returned gun or something, or um, maybe it was kept in a, a part of the warehouse that had a lot more moisture, um, and so it got a little surface rust. Um, I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna send it back or anything, I'm just gonna get some steel wool, and I'm going to uh, just clean it up, and I'm sure it'll clean up just fine, but it is just a little disappointing when you pay like, $875 for a brand new Ruger revolver and it has a little bit of rust on it. So um, that's just a little disappointing. Other than that, I mean, it seems to function just fine. The uh, cylinder, loading gate, everything seems to function just fine. The sights seem like they're pretty much in line, like the barrel's not twisted or the sights are bent or anything like that. The uh, grips, I don't know, I, I'd have to hold my other Vaquero in my hand, but these grips seem a little thin to me. Maybe it's just, I don't know. I have to compare the two to really 
um, get a feel for them. So I will, again, put my um, my diamond, or Spanish diamond grips, I think is what they're called. I got a pair of those that I'll put on here to match my other revolver. But other than that, this is just, uh, just wanted to show off my new tax return gun for the year. Um, it's going to complete my cowboy action set, and I'm going to do a few few more videos with it and uh just wanted to say that i am a little disappointed in that rust um but overall i think it'll be a, a perfectly fine firearm just got to do a little maintenance on it right out the gate so um, i don't think i've ever had that problem with any of my other rugers and i have a lot of rugers most of them are used but some of them were new um, and i don't think i've ever really had any sort of problem like that um so I don't know. That was just kind of a buzzkill when I went and picked it up from the from the gun store today. But overall, I'm still very excited about this. Can't wait to uh, get a few more boxes of 45 Colt ammo and just take these these two revolvers and my Henry and my uh, double barrel shotgun and just do a little practicing with it. So um, yeah. Hey, before I go, I just thought I'd remind everybody that I do have a second channel called Redneck Off The Range. Over there, I post most of my non-gun related content, so whether it's a video on my new tractor, my power tools, my projects that I'm working on, maybe wild game recipes, or just a random vlog, I post all of this kind of content over on my secondary channel. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check it out, Redneck Off The Range. But that's all for this video, so subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.